TV personality and talk show host Regis Philbin has died at the age of 88. Philbin died July 24 of natural causes, according to People, who first reported the news. His family and friends are forever grateful for the time we got to spend with him, for his warmth, his legendary sense of humor, and his singular ability to make every day into something worth talking about. We thank his fans and admirers for their incredible support over his 60-year career and ask for privacy as we mourn his loss, the Philbin family said in a statement to People. For more than 30 years, Philbin was the face many households woke up to on ABC when he hosted, Live. With Regis and Kathy Lee, and then, Live. With Regis and Kelly. Millennials may recognize the enthusiastic Bronx, New York native as the host of, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? But for over 50 years, the Notre Dame graduate appeared on talk shows and game shows. Often referred to as the hardest working man in show business, Philbin holds a Guinness World Record for most hours on U.S. television and in 2006 he was inducted into the TV Academy's Hall of Fame. But the chatty host wasn't always as confident and exuberant as he came across. Before he appeared on morning talk shows, he was an uncertain officer in the Navy trying to figure out what he wanted to do with the rest of his life. Before he was a TV personality, Regis Philbin wasn't sure what he wanted to do with his career. Bennett Raglin, Wire Image in an interview with the Television Academy, Philbin said he wasn't sure at a young age what he wanted to do in his life. He said he developed his interest for going into television during his time in the Navy as a supply officer, but he wasn't the most confident go-getter at the time. According to Philbin's memoir, How I Got This Way, a major in the Marines inspired him to get into broadcasting. I told him, what I'd like to do is go into television but I don't know if I have any talent or what I could do, and he got very angry. He said, well, what do you mean? Don't you know you can have anything you want in this life if you only want it bad enough? Do you want it? And I said, Major, I'm not sure. And he boomed at me, do you want this? And I snapped to and gave him a salute and said, yes, yes I want this, wrote Philbin, according to NPR. A young Regis left with talk show host Joey Bishop in 1967. ABC Photo Archives ABC via Getty Images at the advice of his uncle, who worked in publicity for CBS, Philbin applied to be an NBC page, an extremely competitive paid fellowship at the network that usually leads to other jobs in show business. He landed the position in 1955 and worked on the short-lived, The Eddie Fisher Show. It was a dream internship, but after six weeks of being a page, he gave it up to go out west. Philbin received a call from Hollywood and took a job working behind the scenes on a network channel.